So, in this lecture what we are going to do is we are going to start our discussion on diesel fuel injection. Okay. So, as you all know that uh, uh, the diesel engine in the diesel engine the, the, the fuel is not mixed with air. However, the only the air is compressed and we add the fuel later on. So, now uh, what are the characteristics of this spray, how this spray is controlled, what are the forces which control this spray, what are the spray characteristics and what is the importance of the spraying process okay, uh, in the overall combustion dynamics of a diesel engine is what we are going to uh, study today uh, in this particular lecture. Also, I must also tell you that in the modern engines, even the petrol uh, uh, is sprayed actually. So, when we study the carburation system, at that time we will study the limitations of the carburetor and why uh, for example, uh, the, the modern trend is towards uh, using petrol also for, uh, I mean using injection process or fuel injection process or a spray process uh, also for a petrol engine. So, the characteristics of the spray, the physical mechanisms by which the spray is created, they remain uh, 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 practically the same. Uh, we have to understand the forces which create the spray and how to control the dynamics of the spray in terms of several spray characteristics. So, we will begin the discussion with the fuel injection system and typically we will focus right now on the diesel engine system and let us see how. Uh, the metering is done, how the, the spray is created, what type of uh, uh, let us say mechanical infrastructure is needed uh, to create this particular spray, how to control this spray and things like that. So, let us begin our discussion on fuel injection systems uh, part 1 which is the introduction. So, uh, as you know a diesel engine has no throttle valve to restrict air flow to the engine. So, for example, in a uh, in a petrol engine uh, we have discussed in the early part that uh, the petrol engine we have a carburetor for example uh, and there is a throttle valve which essentially throttles uh, the amount of air which restricts the air actually and this controls the amount of fuel which is coming in from the carburetor and this mixture uh, of uh, the vaporized petrol uh, or gasoline along with the air. Uh, is what goes inside the petrol engine and you also know that uh, typically uh, uh, the, the air fuel ratio is close to stoichiometric in, in a petrol engine. However, in a diesel engine what we do is we only induct air and it, that is the air is only compressed during the compression stroke. Now, after the compression is finished you have studied the diesel cycle. Uh, so, uh, let us say we uh, ideally we do an adiabatic compression. Naturally, we would like uh, since there is no spark plug here, the diesel has to uh, burn or, or ignition has to start in diesel uh, by uh, the hot air itself. That means, uh, the temperature of the air should be such that uh, the diesel catches fire when it is sprayed inside the system uh, and therefore, the compression ratios are typically uh, 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 quite high uh, as compared to petrol engine. Uh, and, and that is what uh, is written here, that uh, the diesel engine has much higher compression ratio. Now, how do you control the engine power? Essentially, what we say, what we do in a diesel engine is that it is always an excess air engine. That means, the amount of air will always be very high and why it is very high, we will actually understand as we uh, study the injection system and the way the diesel fuel burns. So, the engine power and speed are controlled only by the amount of fuel which is sprayed into the cylinder. So, now, what is the function of the injection system? The injection system has to inject uh, properly atomized spray of diesel, it is it should create a, 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 a controlled spray. The spray characteristics we will study in this lecture, the, some of the spray characteristics we will uh, we will look at and the, they, they need to be controlled. Uh, then the amount of fuel has to be given in a certain time uh, which is available for combustion uh, in this engine. As you know diesel engines are close to a constant pressure combustion cycle. So, essentially uh, what uh, the you will recall the discussion uh, on diesel uh, let us say ideal diesel cycles. You will recall that uh, as the piston starts moving down the heat is still coming in and therefore, the pressure essentially remains constant uh, when the heat addition is taking place. And this heat addition starts after the spray has caught fire uh, and then uh, the, the, the uh, let us say the combustion will continue uh, even when the uh, fresh uh, let us say diesel is being sprayed inside the system. Uh, so, how do you control the power? The, the power is uh, typically controlled by the amount of fuel. So, if you if the engine requires more power, let us say it is climbing up a hill, 
uh, then you have to supply more and more uh, let us say diesel uh, fuel. The amount of air typically remains the same. Uh, so, uh, it is, it is, it is uh, quite lean uh, as you all know that the fuel air equivalence ratio is pretty high uh, and therefore, uh, if you want to reduce the power, you reduce the fuel. So, essentially the amount of air remaining constant, what we, uh, what this injection system should do is to get a feedback on the power requirement uh, and then inject uh, the, the right quantity of diesel uh, which is required by the, by the cylinder uh, in that particular cycle. Uh, in a particular manner that means uh, the, the spray has to be controlled in a certain way and that is what we will see today in this lecture. Uh, also uh, in uh, many diesel engines may also have glow plugs, so we will discuss that also in the later part of, uh, of our study. Uh, essentially in the winter time for example, uh, if the inlet air is very very cold then cranking the engine the temperature may not rise to a level where uh, the, 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 the diesel will catch fire and therefore some electrical heating or resistance heating uh, may be required to assist uh, let us say the starting of the combustion process. It is not a spark plug, but it is typically used only for in the, in the beginning uh, when uh, 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 typically in a winter uh, let us say environment uh, when uh, the, the combustion may not uh, get initiated by itself. So, to, to, uh, to control the power of a diesel engine, we require a fuel injection system and uh, the main one of the main things of this fuel injection system is the fuel pump and an injector. So here, uh, for example, uh, you, uh, I have, I have brought uh, an actual injector here, uh, which you can see from here. Uh, okay, and this particular injector, uh, you can see, uh, we will, we will discuss the construction of this, uh, uh, of this injector. Uh, there is, there is a fuel which goes inside this uh, injector, and there is some excess fuel which returns. So there is a return port, there is an inlet port from here, and uh, uh, below you can see uh, a nozzle. And we will see some of the photographs uh, also uh, closely. Uh, there are. Uh, th this is an old. Uh, this is an old nozzle, uh, uh, an actually used nozzle from an engine. So you can also see some carbon deposits, uh, which are here of the unburnt, unburnt fuel, which is there, and very, very small holes, which you may not be able to see on the screen. Uh, they are uh, of the size of microns, uh, a few microns, of uh, tens of microns. Uh, and those are also there along this nozzle periphery here and essentially uh, high pressure fuel is, is, is injected into it and this creates a spray. Now how does it create a spray? Let me, let me show you by doing a simple experiment. Okay? So we will, uh, I, I, am using, I am using this water here okay? and just, just see what I am doing. Uh, I, am, I am taking some water in my mouth cavity. Okay, with some pressure I have pushed the water outside and what you saw was a jet of liquid coming in which was breaking down into smaller uh, let us say droplets. Okay, I can repeat the experiment again for you to see. So what you saw that in, inside my mouth cavity I had to increase the pressure to push uh, let us say the liquid out uh, from my mouth. And there was a small nozzle or small uh, opening which I created in my uh, with my lips, and you can see that a jet of water came out which broke down into uh, sm uh, small droplets. Now let us repeat this experiment with some high pressure, okay, and see what happens. And uh, I will I will now create a higher pressure inside my mouth cavity, uh, and then push this water out. Uh, uh, I am sure you must have done this uh, yourself many many times. So what you saw here was the fact that the, the liquid uh, okay, uh, by, by increasing the pressure in my mouth cavity, the, the spray characteristics that means now the, you could not see a very clear jet which was coming out. What you saw was that the droplet size, the droplet size also reduced okay, and that the, the spray cone angle, the cone angle of the spray that also changed and you could see that. Uh, by increasing the pressure inside my mouth cavity, I could control the way this jet of liquid breaks down into multiple, uh, let us say, droplets of small size. Okay? Now as you will recall from your, uh, uh, let us say, earlier uh, physics, uh, basic physics, uh, uh, let us say, knowledge, uh, 
uh, that we need to create surfaces. That means this diesel, now I, I am using of course water, uh, but this diesel which is sprayed, uh, this has a certain viscosity, uh, it has a certain density okay, and it has to be sprayed in a pressurized cylinder. Okay. So, you will recall that you have already compressed the air and the air is compressed now and in that compressed uh, state you need to create a spray. So, your pressure should be much higher than the pre uh, right now the pressure outside was 1 atmosphere. Okay. So, I had to create some extra pressure inside which was higher than 1 atmosphere and it, when it was still higher. Uh, then I could create a spray, when it was a little bit higher than atmosphere, then it was a jet which was breaking down. Okay? So, now uh, you can imagine a situation where the air has been compressed in a cylinder and this particular uh, let us say uh, compressed air has a now higher density, higher temperature and in that environment you have to now push diesel uh, to create very, very small droplets, you want to atomize it, you, uh, uh, it is a new word atomization. Uh, uh, of, of the diesel spray, you have to create that and as you, you can feel that the viscosity, the viscosity of the diesel that means it has to be at, a, at, a, at the right temperature, it should be at the fuel injector nozzle, so my lips were the nozzle actually, so at that point they have to be at the right temperature and of course there is a density of air uh, and then the transport of these droplets which is coming out from the nozzle inside this high pressure, high temperature system uh, will, uh, will be governed by the density ratio between the diesel and uh, the, the air, the shear stress which is created and uh, as you will recall, if you have to create let us say new uh, surfaces, uh, you need to do some work and this work was has to be done by the fuel pump which is injecting uh, this particular uh, fuel at a high pressure. So, the fuel injector becomes the most important uh, let us say uh, element uh, of this particular uh, and, and, and this is the inject this is the injector nozzle and this is the nozzle assembly and naturally it is very rigid you can see because it's uh, it's operating at a very high pressure so you have to you have to design it the mechanical design of this should be such that it can withstand this pressure uh, and the temperature and the spray will essentially come out from micro nozzles uh, which are here and then the spray will, uh, uh, will, will, will come out. So, this is fitted inside the cylinder and you can see uh, two bolts here for which from which you can fit it on the cylinder head uh, and essentially a spray will be created uh, and this will catch fire uh, inside the combustion chamber because the air has already been compressed and the temperature is uh, above the auto ignition temperature of this particular fuel. Okay? So, with this background, uh, let us uh, see uh, what is an injector. So, then injector is the heart of a diesel engine. Okay? The delivery, it what does it do? The delivery of the exact right amount of fuel to meet the operating requirements of the engine. You can change the timing of the fuel delivery as the engine speed changes. Faster the speed, earlier the injection. So, remember uh, as we, uh, we have discussed the spark ignition engine for example, okay, in a spark ignition engine we had a spark and to control the pressure rise or the heat release rate uh, of uh, the, the, the pre-mixed uh, petrol and air, uh, you know, uh, we were controlling the spark timing and uh, we, have, we have discussed at length in the classroom uh, that how the spark uh, timing, adjusting the spark timing can change. Uh, the pressure rise curve uh, with respect to the crank angle. Now, here there is no spark plug, but mind you the, the amount of fuel is increasing if the power is increasing and the speed also if the speed is faster, then the same amount of fuel has to be given in a lesser amount of time which is available to you. So, one should not inject the fuel very late uh, 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 because essentially the piston is already moving down. So, although we have a constant pressure condition, but if the, if the piston has gone too much down uh, in, that, in that situation, uh, the, the pressure rise will not be enough and the work output from the engine will not be uh, sufficient. So, therefore, what we do in a spark ignition engine with a spark plug, the timing of the spark plug, exactly the same thing has to be done in a diesel engine. Now, here the start of the in injection process can be controlled. Uh, depending on the power requirement, the amount of fuel to be uh, delivered to the combustion chamber and uh, the speed at which uh, you want this power to be delivered. Okay? So, therefore, faster the speed of the engine, earlier has to be the injection time because the amount of time which is available for you uh, is limited when the piston has started moving down, uh, for example, to give you the expansion stroke. Now, 
as i was telling you the delivery of this fuel has to be done in the cylinders under very high pressure uh, typically more than 30 bars so right now when i made the when i made the spray i was i was creating a spray by giving a delta p uh, between my mouth cavity and the atmosphere and the outside at outside pressure was one atmosphere but in a diesel engine uh, 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 typically at the end of compression you will have uh, uh, a pressure which is uh, somewhere between 25 to 35 bars okay and under those conditions uh, proper atomization should take place uh, and this fuel should come in then ensure a proper spray pattern for mixing of the fuel which is also very important you uh, you just now saw uh, that uh, when i created a high pressure uh, spray uh, there was a there was a particular cone angle and there was a particular velocity by which the spray was mixing with the air so there was turbulence which was created and naturally since we want to burn this fuel quickly uh, it is in liquid state the first it will vaporize the the pre ignition reactions will start and then the combustion process will begin and the enthalpy will start coming in so all this process has to be done in a short amount of time typically the engines are running at high rpm uh, at least the automobile engines can run at uh, 2000 to 5000 rpm so the amount of time available for you to inject to start to to get the work done to combust to combust the fuel and get the work done is is rather small okay so therefore uh, the pattern of the spray the droplet distribution of the spray the dynamics of the spray the velocity uh, the local turbulent level of turbulence which is available uh, at that location uh, are all very very important parameters for efficient let us say uh, combustion and therefore increasing the thermal efficiency of of that particular engine so uh, to ensure proper spray pattern and mixing to ensure equitable distribution of fuel between cylinders so uh, for example uh, all the all the injectors if it is a multi cylinder engine then all the cylinders should uh, uh, should have an equitable distribution of fuel otherwise some of the some of the cylinders will create more power and that will create an imbalance uh, in in running of the engine which is not very good it's de detrimental to the health of the engine uh, and of course the injection system should be such um, that there is no fuel dripping or leakage or sluggishness uh, what i mean to say with that is that whenever a spray is created at the end here uh, some liquid diesel will always uh, let us say there will be remnants of diesel uh, 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 which which will be located close to the nozzle and if they do if they burn locally on the nozzle itself and there is dripping of liquid from here uh, it should work in such a fashion that uh, the, the there is absolutely no liquid dripping that means no droplet should be formed at the end because it will it will it will remain unburnt there will be carbon deposits here and this carbon deposits will actually block the small nozzle holes which are here which are creating the nozzle actually and this nozzle will start behaving uh, let us say badly uh, and then the proper combustion will not take place and you will see smoke unburnt carbon uh, and deposits uh, which are coming out from the exhaust also uh, and uh, uh, eventually this uh, nozzle will uh, sort of uh, has to be replaced or it has to be overhauled for example cleaned for example uh, 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 which is not very good uh, for the health of the engine so these are some of the functions of the fuel injection system okay 